Our next story is about the sun, more specifically about solar flares, flares that are causing radio blackouts on Earth. This happened on Sunday. A solar flare interfered with shortwave radio communication and caused a blackout in Southeast Asia and parts of Australia. Now, scientists say this incident will not be the last. In fact, they are predicting more solar flares in the days ahead. I'm sure there are a couple of questions on your mind. What exactly are solar flares? How are they created and how do they pose a threat to humans? Our next report telling you all that you need to know. This Sunday, the sun erupted. It unleashed a solar flare with a spectacular coronal mass ejection, which went on to cause a radio blackout, where, over Southeast Asia and parts of Australia, does this sound complicated to you? Well, don't break your head. Most of humanity doesn't know how this works. You see, the sun is a big ball of gas. A nuclear fusion is underway in its core. 600 million tons of hydrogen is fused into helium every second. Sometimes the fusion goes out of control. There is a sudden explosion of energy caused by a tangling of gases and magnetic lines. This creates a solar flare, the largest explosive event in our solar system. This is exactly what unfolded on Thursday. The sun erupted into a solar flare. The flare, which contains radiation, got hurled towards planet Earth. Once there, it interfered with shortwave radio communication and caused a radio blackout in these areas. Scientists now say this blackout wasn't the last. They say many more are about to follow. One such expert says solar activity is expected to be active over the next week as these sunspots migrate across the visible disk. The latest forecast from the Space Weather Prediction Center comes after the sun erupted, hurling flares towards the inner planet, including Earth. In simple terms, what this means is that there could be more solar flares. Should this worry you personally? Not really. Solar flares aren't harmful to humans, despite the fact that they contain radiation. However, they can disrupt man-made satellites and power grids. For instance, in 1989, a strong solar eruption caused the Canadian province of Quebec to lose power for a total of nine hours. This time, the solar flare has caused a minor radio blackout. But there's no guarantee if the next solar flare will have the same impact. Scientists say a giant solar flare is inevitable and mankind is completely unprepared. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.